Hello and good day to you. Today's video on our knitwear inventory, we are going to crochet a double crochet in American terms and in um, English it is uh, a treble crochet. We're going to crochet the stitch for our stitch pattern library of our knitwear inventory. To crochet our uh, double crochet in American terms and which is also treble in um, treble crochet in English. We need our yarn. We need a crochet hook. I'll be using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we need scissors to snip off. <laughs> That's to cut the yarn. To make our work, to crochet our work, what we're going to do first is to make a foundation chain. And I'm just going to push this aside. Oh. So we need to make a foundation chain. To make a foundation chain, we're going to wind the yarn around. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm right-handed, so my yarn is going to come from, if you are right-handed, of which I am, the yarn feeding will be on the left side, and your forefinger, you're going to wind, just um, two is enough, wind the yarn around the forefinger twice, and the tail of the yarn is going to be towards your right side. Then we need to create a tension bridge and that tension bridge will need the help of our thumb and middle finger. So place the yarn between the thumb and the middle finger so that it gives the grip and it creates a bridge from your forefinger to the uh, middle finger area and the thumb, which act as a pillar there. Take your crochet hook, place it under or wind it around the, yeah, I will refer to this bridge here as a yarn tension bridge or the yarn bridge. So take the crochet hook, wind it under the bridge, the yarn bridge and pull. It's quite tight, so I just, you can see the way I just loosed my finger, uh, used the yarn around my forefinger. Then secure, this uh, secure is to form a loop between the thumb and the middle finger. So here we have it. The hook still in the loop that I just created. Take it under the yarn tension bridge, wind the, wind the yarn around the hook and pull through the loop you just made. Wind the yarn again around the hook and pull through. Keep on winding and pulling through, then you are creating the chain. We've made about, okay, let me just mix more. So taking a look, we've made a chain. We've made chains and we need to secure this, those um, starting chain. So to secure it, just pull on the tail of yarn gently. And as you pull on it, you will see that we form a tie, a knot that will secure the beginning chain. So we'll continue making chain. And for this project, we are going to use 20 chains and 20, we're going to use 20 stitches or 20, uh, 20 stitches and 20 rows. So let me count. Okay. 
So we have 20. I'm just going to count to make sure. So we have 20 chains ready for the foundation chain. Refer to as a foundation chain. So to make a double crochet in American term and treble in um, English term or British term, we're going to add an extra one and, and, because that, and that extra one chain is referred to as the turning chain. Turning chain will enable our work to, we to have a nice edge and our stitch not to be as if it's, um, it's um, slanted or it's missing a stitch and it's going to make, check our work to check our stitches um, to check our work and make sure it's straight and has a nice um, straight edge. So that the first stitch is not going to be as if it's being uh, is diagonal or it's slipping or it's missing. It needs to be firm and straight. So we've done our turning chain and we're just going to turn our work. When crocheting, we need to make the first row. And to make the first row, we're going to miss the turning chain. And that will happen in every next, any row we are going to make. We are going to miss the turning chain, except the pattern states otherwise. But here, the pattern, what we are doing is the tension swatch. And our pattern states that we must miss the turning chain in every, when we are um, doing the next row. So here's our turning chain. We're going to miss it. That's going to be the first chain. Then the second chain. So this is the ch second chain from the hook. And that's where we're going to insert our hook when we want to work. So for this, we'll first of all go up, take yarn. By winding it around the hook of the needle. We put it into the second chain, chain space. We wind yarn and bring a loop. So we have three loops now then we'll go up again one yarn around pull it through two loops we'll go again wind the yarn around and put it through another two loops you can see that this stitch is a bit longer than the previous one we did when we were there's a single crochet in american terms and the slip stitch that we did in previous videos So for this second stitch, what we are going to do is we'll go up again, we'll wind the yarn around the hook of the needle, then insert the hook into the next chain space, wind the yarn around the hook and pull loop out, then we have three loops on the needle. Then we'll go up, wind the yarn around the hook, pull through two loops, wind the yarn around the hook, and pull through the remaining two loops. So it's time to crochet the third one. Wind the yarn around the hook.
oh i missed one chain you can see the space it was given there okay i missed this chain here So we finished the first row. I'm just going to make take a closer look at it. So this is the first row. And to make the second row, we're going to make a turning chain. Remember the turning chain. So we're going to make a turning chain, just one chain, and then we turn our work. Then we'll miss the turning chain and into this double crochet bar, we are going to insert a crochet hook into it and we'll make a double crochet in there or a treble if you are using English tens treble sorry And taking a look at the edge, you can see that it's, a, it's quite straight. That's because of the help of the turning chain. So we'll continue in this manner until we have gotten... This is the tail of the yarn this way. So we'll continue crocheting until we get to row 20 and then we'll cast off together. So here we have our double crochet stitch that we have done. <laughs> you can see it's a bit larger than the previous one we did in the um that the one than the single crochet we did in the previous video, the single crochet American theme. This is double crochet American theme, and that is treble in uh, British themes. Okay. So we have um that's treble crochet in British terms, which is a double crochet 
all those terms here, terms there. I don't want to put it up. We'll put it, we'll put it right up. Sometimes it's kind of confusing. But um, especially when you are working with um, two different companies, um, you have to specify if it's um, the British terms or the American terms. So just put it there. Okay. So we have... Um, this is... um double crochet in English in American terms okay that's travel in Britain terms or English terms so I bring the single crochet of the I'll just use only the American terms so that I don't confuse us I know I'm in England but uh, we are we have some different stitches as well so let's work with um, American terms okay so uh, for this uh, swatch we'll be working with American terms so I'll just put the three and the previous ones we've done this is the uh, slip stitch this is single crochet and this is the double crochet all American terms okay so here we have um, if you can see how Although the single crochet and the double crochet, they used 4.5 millimeter um, crochet hook. This used three mini. This um, slip stitch used three millimeter crochet hook. You can see. So I'm just going to go closer and we're going to compare the texture together. Just that I think a bit of each of the, each texture should just show and we'll zoom in to get them in. Okay. So I think uh, this should be perfect for the. Okay, you come here, we don't need you over. All right, so you can see that this is a bit loose, even if the both stitches, we, are, we use the same size of needle for them. This is the double crochet in American terms. We use the same size of needle for them, but because of the stitch design, the technique of creating the stitch, you can see that this, this single crochet, the stitch is smaller than this double crochet stitch. It's twice this. <laughs> the double crochet is twice the size of the uh, single crochet. And the single crochet is twice the size of um, this um, slip stitch. So you see how the pattern goes. And you can use the double crochet as you desire to for you can use it for it's kind of loose except you want to make it tight by using smaller needles and um, smaller cr crochet hook but it's still a bit loose than the single crochet so you can see for the body of a garment and you can see how spacious it is there's a little bit of space so if you don't if you want space a little bit of earning then this is the such pattern to go for all right let's come back to let me continue i just want to to keep track of our stitch pattern pattern progress mm -hmm. all right so i'll just uh, continue to the end And into the last stitch and that's all I've broken my yarn too so that I will not be taking the ball of yarn along <laughs> all right so that is the loop and what I'll do is just to pull the yarn through the loop and just pull it tightly and that's it that's a finishing so we finished it So here's our stitch pattern, our uh, double crochet American term stitch pattern, which is um, treble crochet in Britain terms. So all with that, I'll say thank you for joining me for this video of creating a double crochet stitch American terms using. With that, I'll say thank you for joining me for creating a double crochet stitch American terms. For our knitwear inventory until next time happy
happy crocheting, happy designing, and remember, you are the designer. Thank you.